Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to put these flat free tires on. So I've got tires on this cart that you have to inflate and inevitably that they're always flat. So these you never have to inflate, they're run flat, they're really thick. And so I'm gonna show you how to put these. I think I have a 5 8 arbor or a 5 8 um, rod sticking through. Okay, so here's what the wheel looks like. Here's everything that comes in the box. It says it's got ball, ball bearings right here. And then it looks like it's got it on the other side too. Okay, so these are 14 and a half inches and the rim itself is right at about eight and a half. Okay, so it's not a very thick one. It's about, oh, I'd say almost three inches thick. So it looks like it does come with a different bearing. So you could push that bearing out and put that in. That's like a bigger, for a bigger axle. Then you got spacers for the bigger axle, and then looks like some spacers for the smaller 5 8 axle. Okay, so I flipped my cart on its upside down so I can work on this wheel. I've got this cotter pin. Now we need to reuse this cotter pin. So we're gonna, it'll just bend those tabs up and it'll pull out. You can see this tire is just old and dry rotted. So bend the tabs up like that, and then you can pull it through. You don't wanna destroy this cotter pin because we have to reuse it. Okay, so mine is a 5 8 uh, axle, so that must be the smaller bearing on there because it doesn't fit. So I'm going to have to put the other bearings in. Okay, so put the wheel between two pieces of block. You're going to have to get like a punch. You can probably use a screwdriver, but put it through the other side, and then we're going to knock out that the opposite end bearing, and then we'll flip the tire over and do the same thing to this one. So the bearing came out relatively easy, just a few whacks with a hammer. Now I'm going to put this other one in. Okay, so I'm putting the bigger one in. Now, don't hit this part with the hammer. That can damage the ball bearings. Just hit the outer race, and that might help if you have a punch. You can hold a punch right on that outer bearing and just kind of walk it around. Don't hit it a bunch on one side, just kind of a little bit at a time and walk it in. Okay, so you do have to kind of hit that a little hard, uh, but they do go in there. And now I've got the bigger size ball bearings in there. Okay, so it slides on the axle really good now. Now, I don't need any of the spacers, but make sure you reuse that um, big washer and then just put the cotter pin back in there. But if you, if you need to take up some of that space, that's what these are for. Okay, so I'm getting the other wheel ready. So these black things, I guess you could put them in as like bearings, but they're, it's really hard phenolic, so it would sort of work that way maybe. They do kind of fit in there, but I'm gonna put the ball bearing in there. Okay, so the new wheels, they spin on there very nice. So this old cart is like new again. Hope the video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.